The down of birds is a layer of fine feathers found under the tougher exterior feathers. Very young birds are clad only in down. Powder down is a specialized type of down found only in a few groups of birds. Down is a fine thermal insulator and padding used in goods such as jackets, bedding, pillows and sleeping bags. The discovery of feathers trapped in ancient amber suggests that some species of non-avian dinosaur may have possessed down-like feathers. Description and Etymology the word down comes from the Old Norse word dun, which had the same meaning as its modern equivalent. The down feather is considered to be the simplest of all feather types. It has a shorter vestigial rachis, few barbs, and barbules that lack hooks. There are three types of down, natal down, body down and powder down. Natal down is the layer of down feathers that cover most birds at some point in their early development. Precocial nestlings are already covered with the layer of down when they hatch, while all tritial nestlings develop their down layer within days or weeks of hatching. Megapode hatchlings of the sole exception, they are already covered with contour feathers when they hatch. Body down is a layer of small, fluffy feathers that lie underneath the outer contour feathers on a bird's body. Powder down powder down, or pulviplums, is a special type of down that occurs in a few groups of apparently unrelated birds. In some species, the tips of the barbules on powder down feathers disintegrate, forming fine particles of keratin, which appear as a powder, or feather dust, among the feathers. These feathers grow continuously and are not molted. In other species, powder grains come from cells that surround the barbules of growing feathers. These specialized feathers are typically scattered among ordinary down feathers, though in some species, they occur in clusters. All parrots have powder down, with some species producing copious amounts. It is also found in tinamus and herons. The dust produced from powder down feathers is a known allergen in humans. Function The loose structure of down feathers traps air, which helps to insulate the bird against heat loss and contributes to the buoyancy of water birds. Species that experience annual temperature fluctuations typically have more down feathers following their autumn mail. There is some evidence that down feathers Feathers may also help to decrease the incidence of nestling cannibalism among some colonially nesting species, as the stiffness of the feathers make the young more difficult to swallow. Pollutants can reduce the efficiency of these functions. When oil, for example, down feathers mat and clump together, which breaks down the bird's insulation and allows water to reach the skin. Female wildfowl use down feathers plucked from their own breasts to line the scrape nests. This process performs the dual function of helping to insulate the eggs and exposing the female's brood pouch, an area of bare skin, rich in blood vessels, which transmits heat very efficiently. Of the various items birds use to line the nests, down feathers provide the most effective insulation, though only when dry, wet down is the least effective insulator. Down may also help camouflage the eggs when the female is away from the nest, particularly as the birds often draw the feathers over their eggs before leaving. Because a bird can eliminate heavy metals in its feathers and because feathers can be collected non-invasively and stored indefinitely, down feathers can be used to check for evidence of metal contamination in the bird's environment. Studies have shown a high level of correlation between the level of metal contamination in a bird's diet and the level found in its feathers, with the proportion of the chemicals found in its feathers remaining relatively constant. Mutation Mutations in the genes that control the formation of down feathers have been recorded in a German white leghorn flock. Although the elements of a normal down feather are present, a hyperkeratosis of the feather's horny sheath after 16-17 days of incubation results in the sheath not splitting as it should during the final 
stages of the feather's growth. Because of that abnormal splitting, the bird's down appears to be matted. Chicks with this condition look bristly and singed and tend to be lighter in body weight than normal chicks. Ah, human use. Down feathers were used by indigenous North Americans for religious ceremonies and as powerful symbols. In the stories of some cultures, the down feathers of an eagle were important gifts given by the bird to the story's hero. In the Ghost Dance, a religious movement that became particularly widespread among the Plains Indians, each dancer held a painted feather that was dipped with a down feather painted with another color. The feathers were generally those of a crow, which was sacred to the ghost dance, or of an eagle, which was sacred to all tribes. Zuni prayer sticks were also made using eagle down, while eagle feathers belonged to the sun priests who planted them to the sun, other priests could use them if rain was needed, as the down is said to suggest fleecy clouds that gather on the horizon before rain. The Hopi rubbed eagle down feathers over rattlesnakes being collected for the snake dances in an effort to soothe and calm the reptiles. For centuries, humans across the globe have used down feathers for insulation. Russian documents from the 1600s list bird down among the goods sold to Dutch merchants, and communities in northern Norway began protecting the nests of eider ducks as early as 1890. Eiders are still farmed by people in Iceland, Scandinavia and Siberia. The birds are provided with nest sites and protected from predators, and down is collected intermittently during the nesting season without harming the nests of female ducks. The first collection is made roughly halfway through the incubation period, when some 0.75 ounces of high-quality down is removed per nest. When the eggs have hatched and the young have left the area, the remaining down and breast feathers are gathered typically resulting in another 0.75 ounces of lower quality feathers per nest. In general, 50 to 60 nests will produce about 1 kilo of down feathers. This means that only a few thousand pounds of eider down is collected from wild nests each year. In Iceland and Scandinavia, colonies of more than 5,000 birds sometimes develop in farmed areas, while in some protected areas of the Nova Zemlya archipelago, nest densities exceed 13,000 per hectare. On the other hand, the more nomadic indigenous peoples of Arctic Canada did not see down production as a reasonable source of income and tended to overexploit either nests with indifferent collection of downed feathers from the nests. Although the down feathers of various species of wild fowl, gulls and other sea birds have historically been used for insulation, most now come from domestic geese. Some 70% of the world's supply comes from China, typically from birds killed for the meat. Most of the rest comes from Europe and Canada, from birds harvested for meat or pate. In the United States, Federal Trade Commission regulations require that any product labeled 100% down must contain only down feathers, while products labeled simply down can contain a mixture of fiber and feathers. In addition, Products labeled as goose down must contain at least 90% goose down, 10% goose feathers. Down insulation is rated by fill power, which is the number of cubic inches displaced by a given ounce of down. To measure fill power, an ounce of down is placed into a graduated cylinder, and a small weight is dropped in on top of it. The volume below the weight indicates the fill power. Ida down has the highest fill power at 1200. However, even down with a fill power as low as 550 still provides reasonably good insulation. Higher fill power downs will thus insulate better than lower fill power downs of the same weight. Insulation in most outdoor equipment ranges from about 400 to 900 in 3 Oz. Down rated 500 to 650 in 3 Oz is warm enough and light enough for most 
worst conditions, and 800 to 900 in 3. Ozfil is used for very lightweight and or very cold weather gear. Down is warm, lightweight and packable. If well cared for, it retains its loft up to three times longer than the most synthetics. However, when it is wet, the thermal properties of down are virtually eliminated. Down forms clumps if exposed to dampness or moisture, and will mildew if left damp. In addition, it will absorb and retain odors. Down feathers tend to become more allergenic as they age, as they become contaminated with molds and dust mites. Pillows provide the most common source of exposure. Their mattresses, comforters, outerwear and upholstery can also cause problems. A Finnish study has shown that true feather allergies are rare, with most issues caused by dust mites. Animal cruelty. A percentage of the world's supply of down feathers has been plucked from live birds, a practice which is condemned as cruel by animal welfare groups. The precise percentage of down harvested in this manner is uncertain, while some references report that it is only a small fraction of the total. A 2009 Swedish documentary reported that it might be as much as 50 to 80 percent of the total supply. A figure supported by IKEA and an industry representative. The documentary also shows birds lying on the floor with large flesh wounds from the plucking, after which the wounds were stitched using a needle and thread without anesthetic. Although live plucking is illegal in the United States and Europe, it is known to occur in two European countries and in China. Public sentiment against the practice has, in some countries, been strong. IKEA and Patagonia have altered product lines to eliminate the use of live plucked down. Non-avian dinosaurs. Feathers found in amber in western France, Canada and northeastern China suggest that some non-avian dinosaurs may have had primitive, down-like feathers. Types of down. Duck down. Eider down. This is considered to be the ultimate in duck down. It is collected from the breast feathers of the female eider duck and has the largest duck down. Clusters. Goose down, Polish, Hungarian goose down, widely considered to be the finest quality down clusters, they are larger than the norm and are mostly pure white in color. Feather down combinations, down compacts with ogen is not appropriate for some applications, most down filled pillow forms are stuffed with a combination of down and feathers. The presence of feathers adds weight, stability and bulk. Therefore, a mixture with more down will be lighter and fluffier than a pillow with a higher feather ratio. Marabou Marabou is down from the marabou stalk although turkey down is used as a substitute. It is widely used as a fashion trimming and in flight eyeing.